Hi kids, welcome to Mathematics Year 2. We are still at fraction and decimals and today we are looking at compare fractions and decimals. Before we begin, let's take a look at the content standards for today's lesson. Okay, 3.2.6, compare the value of two given decimals. And 3.3.1, compare the given values of fractions and decimals. Kids, do you still remember this? The term less and more. Which one has less and which one has more? This is less. This is more. How about the apple trees? Which one has less? This has less apple. And this has more apples. And the term smaller and larger. Which one is smaller and which one is larger? The second picture is smaller and this one is larger. How about these hats? This is smaller and this is larger. We have learned compare fractions. Now today, we are going to learn about comparing decimals. Look at this diagram. What's the decimal for this? How many parts are here? 10, right? And 5 are colored. So it's 0 0.5. How about this one? What's the decimal? 0 0.3. You compare the decimal, which one is larger? 0 0.5, right? So you can say that 0 0.5 is larger than 0 0.3. Or 0 0.5 is more than 0 0.3. If it's smaller, 0 0.3 is smaller than 0 0.5. Or you can use less. 0 0.3 is less than 0 0.5. Now we take a look at these two. Each has 10 parts, but different number of colored parts. The one in green, how many? What's the decimals? We count. So it's 0 0.7. How about the red? So it's 0 0.4. Which one is larger? This one, right? So we can say that 0 0.7 is larger than 0 0.4. Or 0 0.7 is more than 0 0.4. If it's smaller, we can say 0 0.4 is smaller than 0 0.7 or 0 0.4 is less than 0 0.7. How about without diagram? If I only give you decimals, can you determine which is larger? Let's take a look at some examples. 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Which one is larger? 
0 0.1 has 1 out of 10 shaded parts, right? Or colored parts. And 0 0.2 has 2 out of 10 shaded or colored parts. So 0 0.2 is larger. Next example. 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. Which is larger? Yes, 0 0.7. How about this? 0 0.9 and 0 0.8. 0 0.9. Next example. 0 0.3 and 0 0.2. Which is larger? Of course, 0 0.3. This one, 0 0.8. That's good. Now, how about which is smaller? Take a look at this one. 0 0.3 and 0 0.1. Which is smaller? Just now we look at which is larger. So which is smaller? 0 0.1. How about these two? 0 0.5 and 0 0.8. Which is smaller? 0 0.5. Next one. What's your answer? 0 0.6 How about 0 0.4 and 0 0.5? Yes, 0 0.4 Last one 0 0.6 Good! It's easy to compare decimals, right? Are you good at it? Good! Now we are going to compare fractions and decimals. What if I give you this? 0 0.7 and 4 over 10. If we look at the diagram, this diagram represents 0 0.7 and this one represents 4 over 10. It's obvious which one is larger, right? So 0 0.7 is larger than 4 over 10. Or we can say 0 0.7 is more than 4 over 10. If it's less, 4 over 10 is smaller than 0 0.7. Or 4 over 10 is less than 0 0.7. How about this? Which is larger? If we compare that, 0 0.5 and 7 over 10, we can use the number lines. Remember this, we have learned from the previous lesson. 0 0.1 equals to 1 over 10. 0 0.2 equals to 2 over 10, and so forth. So if we compare 0 0.5 and 7 over 10, Which one is larger? Of course, 7 over 10. Next example, 0 0.4 and 2 over 10. 0 0.4 is here. 2 over 10 is here. 
which is larger? Yes, 0 0.4. Next, 0 0.8 and 9 over 10. 0 0.8 is here. 9 over 10 is here. Which is larger? 9 over 10. Last example. 0 0.3 and 1 over 10. This is 0 0.3. And this is 1 over 10. Which is larger? 0 0.3. Excellent. Next, which is smaller? We compare 0 0.3 and 5 over 10. Okay, if 5 over 10 in decimals is 0 0.5, so which is smaller? 0 0.3. How about we compare 0 0.8 and 6 over 10? 6 over 10 is 0 0.6 in decimals. The smaller one would be 0 0.6. Next example. 1 is 1 over 10 in decimals. 0 0.1. Which is smaller? 0 0.1 is smaller than 0 0.2. How about this? 7 over 10 is 0 0.7. So, which is smaller? 0 0.4. I hope you have understand how to compare decimals as well as decimals and fraction. You should know how to determine which is larger and which is smaller. For your exercise today, please complete page 97 and 98 in your mathematics Year 2 Activity Book. Thank you class and I'll see you again on the next lesson. Goodbye.